Hello! Today I am in the 2020e up again. It's uh, been a while since I drove this car last. Uh, I haven't really had the opportunity to go in it uh, since I drove it to Stavanger and back to here to Flekkefjord without charging. So um, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I am going to take this car to Lindesnes, which is the f uh, most southern spot in the whole of Norway, <laughs> and back here. But I have some new stuff uh, that I want to test with it uh, that didn't exist one year ago, I think. Um, yeah, right now I'm waiting for the ferry, but I'll take the ferry over to the other side because I'm on a, on a small island now, and uh, I'll start a um, better route planner and uh, reset the consumption stuff in the car. What I'm really going to do today is to test, uh, uh, there is a new app called Tronity, uh, or a new web page, where you can connect various um, cars from the Volkswagen group. Um, so it will connect via your uh, We Connect account. I think it also works for ID3, 4, uh, also works for e-tron, and possibly the e-golf, I think. And I think it also works for the old 2015 e-up, or uh, 2013 maybe, 2014. I think it's, yeah. Uh, and it feeds live data or semi-live, you know, you know how <laughs> we connect works. Uh, semi-live data into a better route planner. So I'm hoping it will calibrate consumption, that I should be able to read the state of charge directly on a better route planner. Um, so yeah, let's get over to the other side first. All right, so I'm on the other side and it's raining like, crazy today so it will be nice to have a better route planner to see if how hopefully it will calculate the juice correctly but I think it also is going to calibrate a bit here so the setup today is um, it's really only this one that is needed but I also connected the um, car scanner just for fun with some stats like uh, what usage rpm battery temperature and state of charge um, I also made a simple page, come on, Ugh. dashboard 2, uh, for charging, just to see, it contains the HV battery power, the state of charge, and the temperature, it's just the stats that I need. It doesn't, doesn't show that much when you connect it, but um, it's better than nothing. Uh, also I have, um, here's the app, the Tronity app. So uh, the main important thing about this is that it conveys the state of charge to a better route planner. You can see it has 67% here, 67% here, but for some reason it only shows 64% here. So I'm thinking maybe this is a bit delayed. I'm not entirely sure. Also, you have several battery uh, stats in the EUP. One is HV battery remaining, one is, I think it was absolute battery remaining, and one is state of charge. I think 64% should approximately be what the car itself is saying, but I'm not sure. So anyway, uh, this is the, um, is it, it's 38 kilowatt hour, isn't it? No, it's not. I think it's 32 kilowatt hour battery EUP. 2020 EAP. And the route I'm going to take is, you can't really see the top one here, but it's where I am now. So from Kvelanstern to uh, Lindesnes and back. I had to add a couple of waypoints to avoid taking the very small roads uh, over there. Um, yeah. So let's uh, press start. <laughs> and navigate. And I'd like to have it in detailed mode, so I can see the graph, like that. This way I can spot if it deviates too much and if I need to do an emergency charge. It does want me to charge in Lingdal. It wants me to charge from 15% uh, to 46%. Uh, um, that's the spot where I usually supercharge when I drive here with the Tesla.
yeah, so let's uh, check that out. I'm also going to reset the car. So now it says zero or dot 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 in consumption. <laughs> yeah, so I guess uh, it's time to go. This is going to be a fairly long trip. It's going to take uh, three hours or something. But it's going to be a quite interesting road, I think. I've actually never been down there that I remember. I might have been there, but yeah. And I'm uh, out of the town and on the main road. This is probably the best road that I will drive on today. It's not just probably, it's go it is the best road. <laughs> So, um, I could see on a better route planner that the moment I took off, it dropped down and it has stayed below the line uh, all the way. I think it's because uh, it is a bit delayed, but you can see it says 59% there now. It also says 58 state of charge and 59 remaining charge. Uh, they are slightly different, those two. So I think, it, I think it's the, the remaining charge is actually uh, calculating here. Uh, and even if it's a minute or two delayed, like you would expect with the Wii Connect, it's still far better than ha not having the connection at all. Like when I drove with the old 2015e up to Sweden this autumn, I constantly had to watch the gauge. <laughs> it was quite awful actually. Uh, this is much better. I also like the horizontal position of a better route planner. I never tried that before. I think a better route planner just got a weather out update because uh, suddenly it bounced above the estimated line <laughs> and uh, the weather cleared up quite a bit. So may maybe it got a live update or something saying uh, oh the weather has changed <laughs> I don't know what happened because it was below and I was starting to get a bit nervous since uh, I was supposed to arrive at the charger with 15% uh, it's not the destination here that's just the waypoint I had to set still it's actually below now that's odd well <laughs> we'll see when we get there I think I got to revise that statement. <laughs> I think it might be interpolating and it's getting data very rarely from uh, Tronity. So it got an update maybe halfway through, which bumped up the line. But still, it's not matching this one correctly. Mm. So maybe it's just just gets data once in a while and is interpolating based on the set consumption in there. So maybe the consumption though, 161 watt hour per kilometer is incorrect. I'm uh, starting to think that uh, the graph is a bit, mess bit messed up. It says I'm supposed to arrive at the waypoint in five kilometers, uh, but uh, the consumption, the estimated consumption or the actual consumption thing or extrapolated, I think we can call it now. It's off the graph and it shows that I am supposed to have 43% while uh, in reality I have uh, uh, just need to take this corner I have 45% or 44% uh, depending on which one you look at <laughs> so it's definitely not reading it live completely but I wonder how often it updates now. 42% it says. And 4 kilometers until the waypoint. I did have a look in the Tronity app quickly and it says the car is parked and has 66% state of charge. <laughs> so uh, I remember the e-app, it was a bit slow to update. But I didn't think it was this slow. But I'm starting to wonder if it actually updates while driving at all. Which, oh well, now it went up to 43% here. Mm. Odd. Yeah, I guess I'll um, 
get another status update eventually. We'll see. Now, this is more like the kind of roads <laughs> that were uh, expected around here, I think. I did pick a back road, so um, it's kind of narrow. But still no update from Trinity. It says 37% here on the extrapolated thing. And 40% uh, here. 40%-ish. So I'm thinking maybe I should stop and put the car in park for a bit and see if it updates. So I put the car in park. I'm also a bit confused about what a better route plan is, how I'm supposed to drive here. Uh, did I go somewhere wrong? I don't think so. This, uh, let's wipe a bit. It's, uh, the, the road is up there. It goes up to the right. <laughs> so it's not the biggest road. But I'm gonna sit here for a bit and see if it updates. Yeah, so it did update, but uh, this is really weird. Trinity is showing 38%. Car scanner is showing 40%. <laughs> so now I'm a bit confused which one is correct and now I'm quite a bit below the line again oh well looks like I'm going up a hill and then down again on the other side let's see how it goes it's time for uh, guess the speed limit in Norway it's a small road not many houses have exits to this road there's a large lake down here, by the way. I'm not sure how well it can be seen. Uh, but um, the speed limit here is 80 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Believe it or not. I'm not going 80. I'm going like 40, 50-ish. Here's the lake. I'm uh, out of the mountains and I'm back on the coastal road down to Lindesnes. Um, and it's doing this weird graph thing again, where it puts the edge of the graph all the way to the right, uh, out of the clipping zone. I wonder if that's a bug. <laughs> I'm also not very happy with the way Apple Maps updates on this unit. It takes, its, uh, takes quite a bit of time uh, for each GPS update for some reason. I wonder if that's a setting in Apple Maps. But it's not entirely... You can see I'm coming to the corner now. And it stops. And then after a bit it jumps ahead. So I wish it would be a bit more real time. <laughs> nine kilometers left and then I'm going to be all the way south in Norway. I have arrived. Up here is Lindesnes Fyr. It's the closest uh, lighthouse in or the southernmost lighthouse in Norway but it's raining. I don't have any rain gear with me. <laughs> So I'm going to just be sitting in the car, unfortunately, behind this uh, P85D, a classic Model S. But I have seen something that make me question my assumptions a little bit. Maybe a bit more now I saw something happen. <laughs> because this one, uh, the last time I did some calculations, uh, one quarter was about 25%, right? This one shows 31% and this one shows 29%. It just jumped. It was at 28% and then it jumped to 29%. And I've seen in the past when I stopped this car with low state of charge, the battery gauge goes up. So maybe this is correct-ish. And this is not all that correct. I'm going to see if I can find a sensor in a um, car scanner that matches this one. But um, let's see here. 
28%. Yeah, because that's that's what uh, this one said earlier, but now it jumped really odd. I can't drive all the way in. It's not legal to drive all the way in there. So unfortunately, we can't see the sea. Uh, also, uh, consumption on so far has been 130 watt hours per kilometer, which is fairly good considering the, the um, weather. <laughs> but I'm gonna reset this one and uh, see if I can find a gauge that matches the state of charge here. Well, that was a failure. I did find something called a HV battery absolute state of charge, but it showed me minus 200 something Celsius, like uh, zero Kelvin. <laughs> so uh, I think I'm gonna scratch that. Unfortunately, since I can't drive all the way down there, it won't register is it as um, that I actually hit this waypoint. Let's, can I do something about that? No, no. So I think I need to go back, remove some of the steps and replan. But now it says 14%. Uh, I'm supposed to arrive at Lingdal uh, Handel Center with 14% and charge there. Uh, let's see what happens when I replan. Right, so it does say I have 29% left and that I will arrive with 15%, which matches neither of these. <laughs> but it does match the, the Trondity app. So um, let's see if I get there in good shape. I'm going to have to climb all these small roads and all these hills again. It's going to be a... It takes quite a bit of battery. Ah, I'm back on the twisty, windy road. The big question here is uh, which gauge to trust. Because <laughs> this one is getting closer to 20%, I think. The interpolated one is following uh, its estimated curve perfectly, so it has um, 23%. Car scanner is closer to 26%. I'm inclined to actually trust car scanner um, in a pinch. Hopefully... <laughs> oh, 50 kilometers of range left? Well, that's plenty. I have 18 kilometers left to the charger. So it shouldn't be any issue anyway, it's just uh, <laughs> a bit scary. All right, I have arrived at the charging station, but uh, it's not exactly where uh, a better route planner wants me to charge. Um, Still the charge is about 12%, uh, 12.5%, 13%. I think I calculated each of these bars to 6.5% uh, in my old EAP. And Tronity is showing 12%, which um, matches that. But it has not updated yet in a better route planner. Uh, the state of charge here is 18%. I think this is more correct. But anyway, it's time to charge. And um, it wants me to charge to 46%. So let's start that. So I'm charging. And I just noticed something that uh, the app says how long ago you had an update. And it did update right now. And it says now charging. <laughs> but can I see more? No. I wonder if there are more stats for the ID3 and the e-tron and stuff like that in the Wii Connect uh, network. Because in this car you're not getting all that much. But I can see it here. <laughs> and I am getting 30 kilowatts right now. I wonder if because it's because the uh, battery temperature is fairly low. Well, it's not that low. Should be getting a bit more, I think. Uh, 
Anyway, I need to do some human stuff <laughs> while the car is charging. I think I'm just about done with the charging. It's not too bad, but the um, car has very low voltage in the pack, <laughs> 277. And uh, the charger I'm at is capped at 125 amps. But right now it's only pulling 90 amps. So I wonder if it's a temperature thing or what it is, because it's only charging at 28 kilowatts now. It's like half my Ionic. But that's not a problem right now, because I'm done. I was supposed to charge to 45%. Uh, I think this one would have updated if I had um, parked at the right charger. <laughs> I'm just a little bit off. Because Tronity shows it almost real time when you're charging. I don't I think it's just it doesn't send any data when you're driving. But now this one shows 44%, which should be more than enough. Let's try and plot it out just to see. Yeah, it wants me to charge one more percent. <laughs> so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to head out. Oh, and it, uh, it does estimate 25% at arrival. So let's see if it hits that. <laughs> There's still no update from the car when driving, so it is only when parking and charging. And I have arrived at the ferry. Well, the ferry is not here. It is currently there <laughs> on the other side of the um, fjord. So, um, gotta wait a little bit. I did arrive with 26 uh, and 27% here. Oh, there's actually an upcoming behind me. <laughs> uh, and the state of charge in uh, Trinity. Let's see, it uh, has not updated yet. Let's try to force it. 23%, so that's 2% less than um, a better route planner estimated. It's not bad, considering the weather and not having it 100% calibrated and stuff. So, is this uh, Tronity thing worth it for the EUP? It's 4 euros a month. Uh, and I'd say if you want to connect it to a better route planner, even if it doesn't update as you drive, the having to not enter the state of charge every time you start and also seeing the charging, I'd say yes. <laughs> I'd take it any day. Uh, I don't like manually entering stuff. The only thing you're missing here really is um, it warning you that you're using way more than estimated. Because it's still doing the a better route planner estimation, which is not bad. It just gets better with live updates as you're driving. Uh, the consumption so far, or on this leg, is 13.3, so it's almost exactly the same as going back here. And uh, for 9 degrees and this kind of weather, well, it's not even this, it's zoom focusing on the window here. That's really low. <laughs> but um hope this was uh, interesting. And uh, I hope I'll get more trips in the EAP soon. But uh, for now, it's bye-bye. Uh,